The big lines at McDonald's are of no surprise. The company is one of the most popular fast food chains in the world and has mastered the art of keeping customers coming back for its food items. McDonald's has millions of loyal customers that love its menu. The company has steadily maintained a revenue of more than $20 billion annually for the last couple of years. McDonald's serves over 68 million customers each day. I don't think people realize the scale of how massive McDonald's is. It has millions upon millions of loyal customers all over the world. For the bigger than average appetite. <laughs> McDonald's is your kind of place. Say the words Golden Arches, and there's little chance a person won't immediately imagine the McDonald's logo. After all, the corporate trademark that adorns every store location throughout the world is a nearly unrivaled symbol of fast food. And the company is leading the way for this market. Overall foods may be capable of triggering an addictive process, and McDonald's is no exception. The food contains high levels of fat, sugar, and salt, which releases dopamine and makes people feel good. Furthermore, McDonald's is associated with positive memories and feelings from childhood. In addition, some of its food contains MSG. MSG is an ingredient that is addictive and also leaves people feeling unsatisfied. Additionally, our body will crave sugar, and if we don't get sugar, then we suffer through the same types of withdrawal symptoms as someone suffering from drug addiction. The hamburger buns, french fries, ketchup, and virtually all drinks and desserts at McDonald's contain sugar. Some items like the smoothies contain higher sugar content than Coca-Cola. The value menu helps entice millions of customers. McDonald's has an incredible value menu for customers, including one, two, and three dollar menu selections which highly entice people to purchase their food. Hi, what can I get for a dollar? How far can I get with this? You can get out. Hi. What can I get for this? How about crispy, juicy chicken with all the amenities and an irresistible classic known fondly as the McChicken? Affordability is crucial in today's environment and remains a cornerstone of the McDonald's brand. The company is committed to offering the right price and product combination so that customers realize value at every tier of the menu. People's brain will weigh out the cost versus benefit analysis. Furthermore, McDonald's is a fast food chain that cooks your food within minutes, and the fact that you can receive a hot meal anytime you want can be addictive within itself. McDonald's offers a convenient way of getting food quickly, including offering drive through windows and delivery through Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. Tech-savvy customers have forced restaurant chains to adapt. Delivery apps have become a huge source of revenue. People crave not only the food, but the ability to get the food without waiting, so the speed of the process itself offers instant gratification. Fast food restaurants have been shifting their focus towards mobile and drive-through orders for years, even before a pandemic caused a need to socially distance. Not only reducing consumers' desire to dine at a restaurant, but severely restricting that entire option. This includes McDonald's, which announced in November 2020 that it was planning to test restaurant locations designed exclusively for drive through or takeout orders, offering no dining options whatsoever. With so many customers now not wanting to eat in lines and preferring to eat any and all meals from the comfort of their own home, the bottom line is companies have little other choice. Danny Klein, director of digital content at QSR Magazine, told CNET, Everyone is rushing to a focus on off-premise business instead of dine-in. There's little reason to believe this won't continue at McDonald's of the future. Last month, McDonald's said that both price hikes and value items fueled U.S. same-store sales growth, which was higher than expected during its second quarter. Global same-store sales rose 9.7% in the quarter, fueled by strong international growth, strong demand in France and Germany. The company credited strategic price hikes and its value offerings for its strong performance. Last quarter, McDonald's executives said some low-income consumers were trading down to cheaper options in response to inflation, and the trend continued this quarter. The majority of the company's restaurants worldwide are owned and operated by independent investors. 
For years, McDonald's has been a model of how franchises should be ran. The company is always innovating into the future. From the rise of automated ordering and cooking, to an increasingly streamlined setup for employees and customers. This is all part of the plan at McDonald's. But, depending on who you ask, the reduction of genuine human interaction, alongside the rise of technology, is either a wonderful thing or a bad direction for a food chain to go in. Of course, the reality of a situation for McDonald's, the plan to entice and retain customers in the future involves using digital technology to maximize their experiences. The growth pillars, which are rooted in McDonald's identity, are built on historic strengths and articulate areas of further opportunity. Specifically, the company has focused on maximizing their marketing by investing in new, culturally relevant approaches to effectively communicate the story of brand, food, and purpose. It has committed to tapping into customer demand for the familiar and focusing on serving delicious burgers, chicken, and coffee. By doubling down on the three Ds, digital, delivery, and drive through McDonald's has leveraged competitive strengths and built a powerful digital experience. It's a worldwide growth engine that provides a fast, easy experience for our customers. The shift in customer behavior during COVID-19 has illustrated the competitive advantages of McDonald's. Delivery is booming, and the use of the McDonald's app has surged as more and more customers are ordering and paying for their food on mobile devices. What many loyal customers love most about McDonald's menu is the classics, like the Big Mac, Quarter Pounder, Chicken McNuggets, and world-famous fries. Core menu items, like these, represent the heart of the business, making up about 70% of food sales across its top markets. As demand for the familiar in these uncertain times is more important than ever, the company believes these core classics will continue to be significant drivers of growth thanks to both their popularity and profitability. McDonald's heritage is in burgers, and committing that customers get the best version of their popular burgers every time they visit is a priority. To improve upon the great taste of its burgers and to serve them hot and deliciously juicy, markets around the world are implementing a series of operational, process, and formulation changes. These include using new buns toasted to golden brown and an enhanced grilling approach to unlock more flavor. McDonald's also has significant opportunity to expand its chicken offerings, a category that is growing faster than beef. This includes leveraging the extraordinary global strength of Chicken McNuggets and the McChicken Sandwich, and investing in new line extensions and flavors. It also means continuing to offer food that aligns with current consumer trends and taste profiles to unlock further growth. The company has been accelerating technology innovation so that the tens of millions of customers who interact with McDonald's each day can enjoy a fast, easy experience that fits their needs at the moment. Whether a family dinner delivered to a doorstep or late night fries from the drive-thru.